So hello my posse, hello all my new subscribers. Thank you so much today for coming into my living room. I so appreciate you. Uh, we're all ready for you. I got the fireplace going, the door open, uh, no, no sun outside, but, uh, but I'm moving along here. So I'm glad to see you. I'm glad that you came into my living room today. I am so excited to do this collaboration today with my friend Bella, um, Beauty on a Budget. I'm sure most of my subscribers already subscribe to uh, Bella, Beauty on a Budget. I have two beautiful Bellas in my life, one my granddaughter and one my Bella over there from overseas. Where are you, in London, England? She's England, and I, lo I love her. In fact, I tell you, um, she probably doesn't even know this, but way back when, I discovered that YouTube was something else besides changing a tire or fixing a leak in the in your water heater or something. And I was like scrolling around on YouTube and I, for some reason, Bella popped up and um, I thought, what is this? So I, I tuned her in and I just got the biggest kick out of her, but I had the hardest time understanding her. I mean, her accent was like so thick, I was like, what? So I, I loved her, but I was just really intent watching her because I, I couldn't understand her. I mean, she's, she's, I think she's kind of gotten better through the, through the year and a half that I've been watching her or whatever, but I still have to listen sometimes to her words. And when she talks about price in a pound or something, I don't know what a pound is except what I have on my butt. That's where I know my pounds are, but I love Bella. And like I say, if you have not ever listen to her, you will get a kick out of her. She is just so down to earth. And uh, she came to America a couple of weeks ago and gosh, I wish I could have got a chance to see her. Some of you creators were lucky that you could meet her. I didn't get the opportunity because I was still kind of far. So she's a wonderful person and she's really the reason that I'm in debt because I, um, you know, I, I think I'm gonna have to really work at making some money on YouTube <laughs> because everything Bella, uh, reviews I have to go and buy her. I hope you enjoy our collab today. I am so uh, honored that she asked me to do this with her on her part one uh, and um, I, I, please go and watch her. I haven't seen it yet but I'm, I'm about to. So this is a look that you're going to see and I'm going to show you how to get this look in a second. So if you want to see how I achieved uh, my look stay tuned and yeah guys it's a get ready with me oh, oh. anyway stay tuned okay so on with the get ready with me I just um, I just washed my face really well and I put my moisturizer on which I'm really happy with the canvas of my skin if you can see it up close and personal uh, with zip zero makeup <laughs> But I'm going to do it in steps um, and then I'm going to go and put it on. But today my foundation that I'm using, uh, I have decided to do the Kat Von D foundation. I love this foundation. In fact, I went to Sephora to buy it and they were out of it. Uh, it's back ordered. So they gave me a sample. So I'm going to be putting the sample on. So I'm going to use Kat Von D today. I thought I'd try that because, you know, Kat. Kat is like... I told you before I did a review on Kat and she, uh, I had said that, you know, if you want to go in the witness protection program, just wear Kat because they won't know who you are. You could hide out and they wouldn't know who you are. I could be walking down the street and Bella would pass me up and I'd go, hi, Bella, it's Nana. And she'd go, who? It's Nana. It's me and Kat Von D. Oh, Nana, I didn't recognize you. Yeah. That's how good cat is. So uh, I am going to uh, use my little sample and put my uh, foundation on. Um, and I'll just show you, it looks really white. I'll just show you a little bit of the coverage um, on it. Um, it looks really, really white, but it's, but it really isn't. So I will be back after and don't get afraid, it's not really that white. I'll be back and show you, hold on. Okay, so I have the foundation on and the uh, concealer that I use today is the uh, Erase One, of course, Eraser by Instant Age Rewind uh, by Maybelline. I love this one. I do love a couple more that Bella suggested. Um, 
because I buy everything Bella reviews. Keep up with all the stuff that she reviews that I love. We're, our skins, uh, we have the same issues, like our eyes are probably, you know, the worst, we always say that. So today we are showing you a Christmas look, so um, I started out with my foundation and my cat. You know who I am. Hi, I'm, I'm Babs, Sheriff Babs here, in case you didn't recognize me with my Cat Von D. So we're going to do a little uh, eye uh, for you, um, show you some uh, eye techniques. Uh, first of all, let's see, what do I do? I'm going to use my uh, soda pop, uh, which I love. I'm not allergic to, and I love this. Uh, and I'm going to use one today uh, called Cherry on the Top which is this one. You can tell I use it because I'm down to pan. Uh, so I'm gonna use that one. Uh, so we'll just kind of go in and I'll show you uh, basically what I do. And um, we're gonna use, you, just use the cherry on top. But before I do that, I'm gonna go in with my buxom. And I have a pink one in here that's called Feather Balboa, I think. And I am just going to um, cover my eyes, lids, with this Feather Balboa real quick. I really like this, and I do like Buxom uh, eye palettes. I love the texture. You don't get much fallout, I don't think, with Buxom. And just gonna pinkin up my eyelids a little bit. I don't do a whole lot. I can't see you. Oh, hello. I don't do a whole lot with um, my eyebrows. I don't like dark eyebrows. I just, you know, I have bangs, so my bangs cover my eyebrows, and, and I don't know, I don't like them. So, and I have glitter all over myself today because I opened up a Christmas card and it had glitter all over it. So I started out with just the basic um, uh, Feather Balboa, and then on the top, I'm going to go in and use the uh, Cherry on the top, which is just the look I want which is just a little cherry on the top. So I'm going to take uh, this brush and just kind of go over. <gasps> Ooh, sorry, it's a five plus mirror. And we're gonna just go in, in the curve, crease of the eye, and uh, for the, a nice little holiday look. So I will do both eyes like that for you and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just did a little cherry on the top, which is what the look I wanted. Just a, just a little bit of uh, through it for the holidays. Uh, then I think I'll put a little bit of the uh, cherry on the top and put it on the bottom of the lashes. What I'm going to do next is put on my blush. Excuse me. Because I think for me, I like to look a gl have a glow uh, and blush is just the ultimate for the finishing touch for me. So before I finish my eyes, I'm going to just put on a little bit of blush. And I always use uh, CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones. It comes three. You can tell them down to the pan. They're out of this one, too. They, this is really hard to find. Everybody and their brother, I think, buys this one. 
Uh, I don't know about their brother, but you know what I mean. And this is this is plum something. Uh, it's all worn off, but it is a plum color. And there's three shades of plum, this one being really light. And um, we're going to put my blush on. I just like to have my blush on when I do my eye makeup. It just makes my eyes pop better and I can see how it's going to look. I won't put much, but some. But you know me at blush. I can just go whoop, whoop, whoop. And the other thing that I do, um, I have this uh, Wet n Wild Stick Foundation. This one is um, Photo Focus. This one here is called Almond Almondine. And what I do with this, I know I had told you before, my nose was broke. And I hate that bone that's up in my nose. So I take a little bit of the Almond Almondine and um, I go over my nose on this side and, and blend it. It just makes a difference. That bone just sticks out. Of all the cosmetic surgery that's out there that I could have had done, that I didn't have done ever, I should have had my nose fixed when it was broke. And I never did. I don't know why. I could probably do it now, but what's the point? Really. Okay, so I did I did do that. I put my glasses on to see if it's okay. So I did do that a little. And you also can use this a little bit in this area and in here if you want to contour. I don't like a contour that is um, glowy. I'm not a glowy girl. I don't like glow on my face anywhere. That's just me. Some people do. I don't want to be glowing. So that's all I do with that one. So. So now we'll go on to um, another layer of eye color. I think today on the, uh, just to transition a little bit, I will just take uh, this one here that's called Grape. No, I think I'll use the Cherry Cola one on the bottom. It's a little sparkly. So let's see what that's going to look like. It's a spark, it's kind of a sparkly one. So we're just going to just transition a little bit over the top like so just to give it a little holiday look like so I, you know I can't see this until I put my glasses on at the end and sometimes my eye makeup is like over here I don't know it's terrible to get made up. That's why I don't do Get Ready With Me Girls, because it's really tough getting made up when you can't see. Sometimes I put my liner on, and it's like, <laughs> I look like that commercial for uh, uh, Little Caesars. Remember that? Wasn't it Little Caesars where that older lady was on there, and they hit a bump of turbulence, and her lipstick went up like this? That's the way my eye makeup is. So on my, on my lids, a lot of you ask me what I use on my lids. Um, and I do put it in my description box, but for my lids still, I'm going to use my um, Buxom Purely Platinum. I love that. And most of the time, I use it wet so I don't get any fallout. So uh, let's do that on just on the eyelid, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back for just a minute, but I thought I'd show you how I just put this lightly, just enough on the lid to uh, make the eyes pop open and look, uh, look bright. Like so. Can you see that? Because I can't. So it's just enough to um, open up the eye a little bit. So that's that. So next we'll uh, go in, I think I'll line the, my uh, lids a little bit. I have this great, where is it? I have this 
liner. This one here is by uh, Alme. I don't know if you can see it because I can't see it, but I'll go around the circle because <laughs> I can't see any of the writing. And I'm going to put um, a little bit just on my lash line here. It's almost dry, I think. It's kind of like an automatic one that is wet. Just enough to darken, make the lashes look a little thicker. And a little smidge on, sorry, I hate this mirror up like that, I'm sorry. And a little bit on the bottom. I need to get one of those mirrors for my desk here, my little table, but I don't do many get ready's with me. I'll let all you other creators do that. All right, so that is just a little bit to line the bottom of the lash a little bit and the top, like so. So then, I don't really do a whole lot. And again, girls, this isn't a tutorial because this is the way I do my eyes and just something that I thought you might enjoy uh, for the holidays. So again, let me hit this with the blush brush. And on this one here, on my cover girl, I have the really light one and it's just a little uh, soft kind of a gloss that I just put on the tip of my nose like so. And for my finishing powder, I use, now I usually use Laura Mercier. I do like that. I have used Bare Minerals and I love that, but Laura Mercier, I really like. Go back to Laura Mercier as soon as this is done. So I forgot my brush, so I'll be right back. I'm, I'm, I don't like uh, powders too much. I think, um, they kind of stick in your cracks. <laughs> For those of you that caught that, but yeah, on my face. Uh, anyway, so that's that. So I think for a little bit of sparkle today, I'm not going to do a whole lot. I like the two cherry looks on my eyes. Um, I don't think that there's anyone, uh, anything else in here that I really want to try except um, the um, two cherries that I have. I have cherry cola and uh, cherry on the top, just a little bit uh, darker, just for being drama, having more drama for the holidays. And maybe a little bit more, uh, I'll try the, oh, I'll try the cherry cola, <laughs> cherry cola one under my eyes with a small brush like this. Like so. Now for the lashes. The lashes, I do curl my lashes. Uh, I know, I think it's Monica on here. I think it's her that says, no, don't curl your lashes, but I do curl my lashes. And uh, the mascara that I use, I also got from Glitzy Fritzy a long time ago. Last year, I think Mary did a, a video on this um, particular <sighs> mascara, which is, uh, Unlimited, it's called. It's by L'Oreal Mascara, and it has a little bendable wand, which is um, really cool. Of course, I have to take it apart. It's really super cool, the bendable wand, as you see. And I think for uh, lashes clunking together, not clunking, to clunking together, I like this the best. So let me go and put on my mascara, and then I'll be back. Oh, wait. So, yeah, before I put the <clears throat> mascara on, let's do a little bit of glitter. Uh, this is Kat Von D's. This is called Heavy Metal. And as all this is, is a uh, wand, like so, with a very, very thin brush on it. And I uh, have worn this before, and I swear to gosh, it never, ever comes off, ever. So we're just going to, uh, for giggles and squeaks, we're going to line, line the lash on the bottom. 
and just take it, whisk it across the lid. And bring it up. like so, and I'll be back after I do the other eye. Okay, both eyes are done, and it just gives a little glitter all around your eye, and I like it when it even falls down uh, below your eye, if you can see that, uh, which is pretty, It's I like it for the holidays. It's very sparkly, yet not really heavy, and it will not, it will not come off, trust me. I've been pulling this, I wore it the other day, must have taken me five, uh, face washes and wipes to get it off my skin because it's not going anywhere. So now we'll go and put the mascara on um, the L'Oreal and I'll be back. All right, so I put my mascara on. I did change my mascara. I went in for the better than sex. Stop. Uh, but um, I wanted a little thicker coating a little bit thicker look so I did the uh, better than sex waterproof mascara and it uh, it gave me a little heavier look which is what I liked so pretty much that's what I do for the holidays probably every day but no color wise I just do this uh, for special occasions I do like just the two uh, shades of uh, cherry in here and the soda pop Maybelline to me for drugstore um, shadow is amazing and I'm not allergic to any of it. I've used it all and I'm not allergic to any of it. So I think that's it. And as far as the lipstick goes, I am going to uh, first put on, let's see if I have it. Mm. I have this, uh, um, it is, I think it's by New Skin, but it's called uh, Pink Tingle or something. And it's just a, uh, like a serum kind of you put on your lips. And after it starts to tingle, it's uh, it plumps your lips up a little bit. I'll put it in the description box if I can find where I got that from. And uh, I think I will maybe, uh, I don't really like dark lipstick on me, but, um, I'm gonna line it a little bit instead of a pencil with just this dollar store. The dollar store one. I think as you're getting older to your lips turn down. Oh, well, that's another story in another video. How to perk up your lips without getting injection, which I haven't yet. So I'll do a little bit of that. This one I just picked up at uh, Dollar Tree. It's uh, LA Colors Lip Duo. And I think the color on this is, this is called Twinkle. Twinkle. Um, I really I really like that. For dollar store lipstick, it's really great. Well, maybe I'll just put it all on. I was gonna put my city lips on, cause gosh, I love that city lips. And you know, watch me put my lipstick on for five minutes. Have a sip of whatever you're drinking. I'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. That is my holiday look. Uh, I have to tell you a funny story really, really quick. When I, uh, with makeup, without makeup, when I was in the hospital and I was giving birth to, I gave birth to my second son, I was in, I was in a room with a girl who was just a really, one of those really loud mouth uh, people, you know, that you could hear her bellowing all the way down the hall. And, um, we had, we had bonded a little bit because we had our babies like three minutes apart. So we, you know, we were in the same room. We had our babies in the same room and um, they came and they 
you know, took the babies and brought them back to the nursery, and we were able to shower and get ready. And you know how you look after you have a baby. I mean, not too many people look great. So I got my shower. I drew the curtain. I got all made up. I did my hair. I was waiting, you know, for um, dinner and then visitation. A visit uh, was later with my family and everybody that was coming to see the new baby. And so I pulled the curtain back, and she looks at me, she goes, Oh my goodness gracious, I cannot believe that that's you. And I'm like, I'm like, what, 23 years old, 24? And I'm like, and I was like, shy anyway. Yeah, I was. And so uh, she said, I said, what? She goes, oh my God, you look so bad without makeup on and you look so beautiful with makeup on. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. And I mean, it was like billowing down the hall. And then, when our families came, everybody that came in that room that was for her, she goes, oh, look at her, isn't she pretty? But you should see her without makeup on. Oh, she would scare a horse. I'm like, what? I was like, so humility. I wanted to go over there and just slap her. Today, I probably would have, but back then, I just wanted to crawl in the covers, and I thought, who says that? Who said, and then she wanted to be friends with me after that. I was like, no, swipe, no. Yeah, she did, anyway. Back to my makeup. We'll be back. You already saw me finished at the beginning. I will be back uh, to say goodbye. And that's my look. Hold on. So this is my finished look, um, which you probably already saw at the beginning of the video but I just wanted to roll it into the end. This is Gail in an updo, just a messy updo for the holidays. This is the holiday sweater, the holiday party, and um, and the holiday eye look. I hope you like, uh, not like ex extraordinaire, but um, just a nice for me, just nice for me. <laughs> and you know, I don't worry too much about eyebrows because I do wear bangs. And I don't like heavy eyebrows when you have bangs, it's too hard of a look. So I hope you enjoyed my get ready with me. Probably one of the few you'll see. Uh, I've showed you pretty much of my products that I use and uh, and my skin I had prepped before. And I'm really, I'm really pleased with my um, texture and my canvas of my skin. I've really been working at it with that uh, Ella Frida, and I'm pretty happy. So um, I mean, I I really see some toning. I don't know, maybe it's me, but. I do. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great holiday and thank you for watching me and Bella. I love Bella. I hope you go and uh, pay her a visit. Uh, she is my inspiration and um, I love her. So thanks for watching us today. Have a blessed holiday. Be safe uh, no matter what you do and um, I'll see you again. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Love you. Bye.